Hello DIYers. In this video, I'm going to show you how to test a bad 12 volt relay. What is the sign of a bad relay? Some of the symptoms of a bad ignition relay include an unresponsive ignition switch, stalling, and a drained battery. Your vehicle can also start intermittently. If you want to know the symptoms of a bad relay in diesel generator, watch this video in my playlist. This is a 12 volt relay with four pins. Pin 30. 12 volts from fuse battery feed. Pin 87. To driving light or high current component. Pin 85 and 86 is relay control. This is a 12 volts 22 watts bulb. I got two relay they are here first we are going to test with a good relay and later we will test the bad one. I got these wires with female spade connectors. And I have this 12 volts 6 amps battery. When you doing this test make sure check the battery. It should be fully charged and make sure keep away all flammable materials. I'm going to connect the wire to pin 85, which is chassis ground or negative. Later it is going to be connect to the negative of this battery. Next we are going to connect the positive wire to pin 86. It is going to be connected to battery positive. Pin 30. Is fused battery feed or it is relay feed side normally the wire gauge is thick. Pin 87 is relay output. I'm going to connect the positive circuit of our bulb to pin 87 to check the relay output. There we go. Now the connection done. The black wire is our bulb's negative circuit. Red wire is the positive circuit of this bulb it is connected to the relay output. Now I'm joining the all negative circuits and will connect them to battery negative. Next step, I'm joining all positive circuits and will connect it to our battery positive. All the connection done. Now we are going to connect the negative's wires to the battery negative and the positive's wire to the battery positive. If this relay is in good condition, our bulb will light. I have these wires with alligator connectors it is really a handy tool. First I'm connecting to the relay circuits and make sure I isolate them not touch positive with negative. There we go. Now if we have a bad relay, the bulb will not light or sometime it will light but, not normal, it is going to be flickering. Make sure energize the relay 4 or 5 times and each time it should turn the light on normally. This relay is ok, now the same procedure we will connect the wires to a faulty relay and you will see the symptoms of a bad relay.
the connection done, this is a bad relay, now we're going to see the symptom. When you guys doing this test, make sure do not short the circuits and make sure keep away all flammable material. There we go, it is clicking, but, no output, our bulb is off. Let's check the voltage by multimeter to make sure we got 12 volts and all the circuits are okay. First checking the relay control side. There is 12 volts which is okay. Pin 30 relay feeding side it should has 12 volts. There is 12 volts. Now I'm going to check the relay output. Pin 87 is relay output, there is no voltage at all. This is a faulty relay. I hope my camera catch it well. This is the relay contact see it is worn out.